Welcome back to uh, another set to close training. I'm Ryan. And in today's video, we're going to be covering how to update properties within HubSpot uh, on records that you're dealing with, whether they be contacts, companies or deals. And so uh, in today's video, we're going to be jumping in first and foremost on how to do that for contacts. And so what we're going to be doing here is um, adding in some phone numbers and we're going to be updating some properties. So we're going to add in a uh, phone number here everybody's wondering this is the set to close phone number so if you do need support uh, feel free to give us a call I'm gonna make sure it's the right area code and it's validated so I'm gonna hit apply you're gonna see that there and most importantly uh, just hidden under here uh, you're gonna see a save button and so anytime we update a, a property within HubSpot we need to make sure we hit save to make sure that it's captured so that's where HubSpot is just going to want to confirm that when you update properties that you do hit save, that is going to be a requirement. Otherwise, we'll lose the editing that you've done. Again, uh, I'll go here and we're going to update the lifecycle stage. I'm going to say, hey, there's an opportunity. And so what I'm going to do to save that property update is I'm going to hit save and it's going to log that in. You're going to see change is saved and that's going to update it. <clears throat> You'll also see that the, pro the property has been updated in the activity log here in the center of your record uh, where it's going to update and it'll tell you anytime someone's changed a life cycle stage, if there's a new contact owner, if there's a new deal owner, things like that. Uh, they will pop up here in the center in the activity, not under the overview, but activity. Uh, jumping over to um, how do we change the view in here as well. So what we're going to look at in regards to customizing the view and customize what we can see here is we're going to click view all properties underneath this actions tab. And so what we're going to do here is we can search by properties we want to look for. As you'll see, as you scroll down, there's a running list of properties that are available here. And so you can see what properties are being utilized and which ones are not. If we want to change which properties we can see, we can go manage properties. And this will bring us to uh, a page in the back end of HubSpot where we can customize properties for contacts, deals, uh, invoices, our, our marketing lists, our lead forms, literally anything we want to develop uh, in the back end. Properties are totally customizable and we will be able to update them. So jumping back, uh, just again to update properties. What we're going to want to do is just to uh, make sure that we are, as we edit them, as we put in new information, we're hitting that save button at the bottom. So again, and I'll change the lead status here one more time. And we're going to show you here that just hitting the save button will allow you to save that property update uh, that you've executed. And um, through the actions button here, being able to customize the properties, change the history, we're able to update what properties you're able to view here. So this is something that's totally customizable as well. And we will be showing in another video presented by Set to Close. Uh, that's it for this video, though. I just want to say thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and keep removing those revenue roadblocks. If you want more videos like this, follow our channel for fresh new content every day. Check out our RevOps playlist, or how about this video chosen just for you? See you next time.